is how I feel. This is how I feel. This is a little church. Outside of, outside of my, outside of where, outside of the building that I work in. Today was my last day. I will be starting my new job on Monday. So for that I'm very grateful. I just feel the way that I do. I'm not sure I'm going to post this, but This is Rachel in real life. But um, I feel this way because the leadership that I currently work, that I did work for, did not thank me, did not shake my hand, did nothing. And part of that leadership includes someone who used to be very, very close to me. who has gone out of their way to avoid me since June. And it's just a drastic difference from when I worked in this office before. I've just never been treated so poorly. For what? If it's nothing personal and you're hiring a contractor, why not thank me for what I've done? And tell me good luck. But because I identified improper spending practices within the organization, I was looked at in my opinion, I was looked at as someone not to keep around. Even though, why? Why wouldn't you want somebody with my knowledge in contracting and how to properly spend taxpayer dollars? 
along with my knowledge of SharePoint. But they couldn't be bothered, I suppose. So, um, this has just been the probably the worst experience of my military career. It's right up there along with my deployment when I worked with active duty. I'm not saying all active duty is like this, but um, when I worked with active duty, they just, the le that leadership just hated the guard and boy, that was, that was awful. But this, I think this, this really tops it. I mean, this is, this is your own. There was absolutely no wingman concept as far as um, I was concerned. It didn't matter. It didn't matter if I was coming or going. It certainly doesn't matter that I'm going. I am glad that I am going. I just... I just don't know how you can treat someone the way that I've been treated. Especially... Especially by the individual who brought me out here. And I hope that that person is watching. because I know that person well. And there's no way, there's no way that you feel good about this situation. So, it is a rainy day. It is October 26, 2018. I started here January 16th, 2018. I was excited to be here, to come here, to be working with familiar people that I had before. Super excited. And here I am now. I never ever would have thought I would have been going out like this. So, without even a handshake. But, um, you learn and uh, you move on and hopefully things will be better. Which they will. My the organization I'll be going to is uh, contracting, so I'm glad about that, and they're very excited about my arrival, and they are looking forward to, they really like the fact that I have knowledge in SharePoint, and they already want to utilize that, which I'm very grateful for, and they also are they've also talked about what they are going to do to help me progress in my contracting career which I am just very very grateful for and I just don't even know these people so so it's just a big change from where I have come from to where I'm going.
and I'm glad about that. No, I'm crying. <laughs> um, I'll be back with some people who appear to, um, you know, want to look out for airmen and those who support the mission. Uh, I'm definitely excited about that coming next week and um, hopefully, you know, put all this in my rearview mirror and learning what I can from it and hopefully if I ever become a leader, um, know not to treat people this way. And, um, yeah. Today was my first day at my new job. And I had such a good day. And I look like I have like oh, angels coming down on me, right? That's crazy. Like, what a drastic difference from Friday and it's Monday. But, oh my gosh, what, what an awesome experience I had. Everybody was just so super duper nice and extremely helpful like beyond helpful um the desk that I'm at was just like a dumping ground for everything I seem to always get those desks and so it took me forever to clean and I'm sure eventually I will be moved to a different desk but um I wiped that sucker down with my Clorox wipes and there were keyboards upon keyboards and docking stations and whatever else and I just put it in a box to take it over to somebody else who would properly take it where it needs to go, dispose of it. And then I had this guy walk by and he's like, do you want me to take this for you? And I was like, I just looked at him like thinking, what, 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 what? And he, he looked, I mean, he could tell the look on my face was like, what's going on? So he's like, well, I'm the director of IT here for the buildings. And I was like, uh, sure, that would be super helpful. Thank you so much. Yeah. So that was awesome. And then this other guy came by and he was an older gentleman and he introduced himself and said I am the I don't know what he said he was I couldn't understand him but he is in charge of the supplies and asked me if there was anything that I needed and I showed him what I had which was just what was in the desk and he was like come with me and he took me to his locked cabinets and I picked what I needed and then there were some things that weren't in there and he went and got them for me and brought me like my own bottle of of uh, wet wipe stuff, wet wipes for the board, the whiteboards and the tissue box and dry erase board erasers and markers and I was like what is going on and then other people were just introducing themselves to me and just very nice just so nice I mean I was just so grateful like I couldn't even have been given the time of day in safety on Friday and here it was just a complete that's the sound of freedom okay they say that's the sound of freedom Cheesy. but um yeah so um my boss who is kind of temporarily my boss because the new boss isn't on station yet he is 
gone today and tomorrow, so, um, but he's like super chill and he is very, very helpful and is already, has already been thinking of what to do to help me in my contracting career and get me to where I need to be with that. So I'm just so grateful and I'm just so glad to be out of that nightmare that I was in and to be around kind people and I'm not going to cry. But um, I'm just grateful to have had such a nice first day. So, hopefully this is the start to a good experience and I will make the most of it and um, be positive and remember what I've been through and be kind to others. And, um, you know, you just don't know what people have been through. So, yeah, anyway, just thought I would check in what a difference, what a difference a day makes, right? Anyway, I am off to see the wizard now, and I just wanted to share that with you all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.